Good afternoon. Let's take a look at what is happening in the world of sports and what to expect this weekend in different spheres of uh, sports. We begin with the football where the Kenya Rugby Union is calling on the government to honor their promise of filling the financial gap left by their financiers. The union says the government only provided 31 million shillings and uh, it, the union had uh, given the, the government rather 124 million shillings. No, the union is 91 million shillings short of what they expected. Uh, the government had uh, promised to the, we had presented a budget of about 122 million, which it had approved, just coming to about 30 million every month. So it's only the first disbursement that has been given, the subsequent have not been given. And as we stand now, if you look at the Simbas, as a budget of almost 40 million for us to finish the qualifiers, that is up from now until end of August. There is a series of uh, tournaments coming up in Europe, June, July period, for, for, for women's rugby in particular. Then we need to look at uh, Safari Sevens later this year and Dubai in, in December. You can't start preparing two weeks before. Rugby doesn't work like that. It's continuous. So you have to contract the players, you have to contract the coaches, you have to give them meals, they have to do strength and conditioning in the gym, they need supplementation. Uh, they need to be well kitted, so they are real expenses. They need insurance. If anyone gets injured, what happens to them? So they are real expenses, which Rugby Africa doesn't cover. And that's what, when you add it all up, those are the figures you end up at the sort of 300 million shillings for, the, for, the, for all the Kenya Rugby Union programs uh, for the national teams. We, we are very optimistic that the government will come in uh, rugby has been one of the best performing sports in Kenya. Uh, it's just that, why do we have to wait until the last minute? So from uh, the Kenya Rugby Union, let's move to the Kenya Premier League now. There will be nine matches on the cards on round 16 of the Kenya Premier League fixtures this weekend. So we take a look at the fixtures that we expect to spice up at the weekend. And the first fixture of the weekend will be between Wazito FC taking on Ulinzi Stars. Bandari will be at home against Poster Rangers. Then Kakamega Homeboys will be taking on second placed Mavara United. Zoya Sugar will be taking on Chemil Sugar in what is a derby of the Millers. Sony Sugar will be up against Vihiga United. And then we're having Zu Kericho taking on Kario Bangi Sharks. Now, on Sunday, we'll be having Nakumat taking on Tasca FC. Then Thika United will be up against FC Leopards. And then uh, defending Kenya Premier League champions, that's Gor Maia, will be up against uh, Sofa Paka. Nine matches on the cards this uh, weekend. Three will be played on Sunday. Then six will be played on Saturday. That is uh, tomorrow. So we take a look at how the league stands so far. We take a look at the standings of the Kenya Premier League so far. Gor Maia top the league with 30 points. They have only played 12 games. And the second place team, that is Madara United, has played three more games than Gormaia and Madare has 26 points. Ulinzi Stars comes in at number three with 25 points. Sofa Park at number four with 24 points. And then Bandari completes the top five with 23 points. We take a look at uh, number six team on the log. That is FC Leopards. They have 22 points. Zoya Sugar coming in at number seven with 22 points also tied with FC Leopards. Kariobangi Sharks comes in at number eight with 20 points, completing the top eight. And then Kakamega Homeboy is at number nine with 20 points. Poster Rangers at number 10 with 19 points. So we take a look at the bottom eight teams that we have on the Kenya Premier League. At number 11 is Chemil Sugar with 20 points. At uh, number 12, Tasca FC with 19 points. Then Wazito FC who have 17 points, followed by Vihiga, who are at number 14 with 16 points. Zuke Richo at number 15 with 15 points. And then the last three teams that we have on the log, we have Thika United with 15 points, Sony Sugar with 11 at number 17. And then the bottom place team on the Kenya Premier League is none other than Nakumat with 11 points so far. Remember, 
This is after round 15. Round 16 of the Kenya Premier League will be played this weekend. Nine matches on the cards, six to be played on Saturday, then three to be played on Sunday. Now, let's move to the road to Russia 2018. Remember, 32 teams will be taking part in the 21st edition of the FIFA World Cup that will be in Russia. A number of teams have named their squads, their 23-man squads for the FIFA World Cup. And we take a look at some of the teams that submitted their squads yesterday and we begin with Senegal where Alou Sisse, that is the head coach, provided the 23 names for the Senegalese team and they will be led by none other than Sadio Mane, the Liverpool forward, will headline the Senegalese squad. Other uh, players that have been selected includes Abdullahi Diallo, uh, Alfred Gomi and uh, Kadim Ndiaye. Those are the goalkeepers. So we move to the defenders for the Senegalese squad. We'll have, uh, have uh, Lamin Gasana, Kalidou Koulibaly and uh, Yusuf, uh, Sali Yusuf Sabali rather than Salif Sane, Moussa Wagwe and Salif Sisse. We move to the midfielders. We have Idris Gaye. Cheku Kuyate, Alfred Ndaye, Badu Ndiaye, Chek Ndoye, and Ismailia Sa. Those are the midfielders. Now we go to the attackers for the Senegalese team. We have Keita Balde, Mame Diof, Musa Kunate, Sadio Mane, um, Bayen Yang, Diafra Sako, and Moussa So. They complete the 23-man squad named by Alu Sisse for the, Af uh, for the World Cup 2018 edition that will be in Russia. Now, we move to Portugal. These are the... Euro champions, they will be led by none other than the best player in the world, that is Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, uh, Fernando Santos named the day, and uh, some of the players that enabled Portugal to win Euro 2016 are not in the squad, but we take a look at the uh, players that were selected. We start with the goalkeepers, that is Antoni Lopez, Beto, and Rui Patricio. Those are the three goalkeepers that will be in the Portuguese squad. Then the defenders, we have Bruno Alves, Cedric Suarez, Jose Fonte, Mario Rui, and we have Pepe, Rafael Guerrero, Ricardo Pereira, and Ruben Dias. Those are the defenders uh, that will be in action for Portugal at the 2018 edition of uh, the FIFA World Cup. The midfielders, we have Adrian Silva, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Joao, Joao Mario, Joao Moutinho, Manuel Fernandez and Cavallo. So we move to the attackers for the Portuguese side. We have Andre Silva, Bernardo Silva, Christian Ronaldo, Martins. Then we have Goncalo uh, Guedes and uh, Quaresma. They complete the 23-man squad named by Fernando Santos. Now, let's go to France. These two players have missed out uh, on uh, the... Uh, squad that was uh, named by Didier Dijams. Now we have uh, Payet who was very instrumental in France uh, to Euro 2018 campaign where they finished second. Then Anthony Martial has also been left out. The likes of Kingsley Coman uh, have been left out uh, of the 23-man squad that was, le that was selected by Didier Dijams for the 2018 edition of uh, the FIFA World Cup. But who has been selected in uh, France uh, in the French team? The goalkeepers, we have the captain, that is Hugo Loris, Steve Mandanda, and Alphonse Areola. Those are the goalkeepers. Let's move to the defenders for the French team. We have uh, Jibri Sidibe, Benjamin Pavard, Pavard rather, Adil Rami, uh, Rafael Varane, Samuel Umtiti, Presnel Kimpempe, Benjamin Mendy, and Lucas Hernandez. Those are the defenders that will be in action for the French team in uh, Euro, uh, rather World Cup 2018. The midfielders, Paul Pogba, Blaise Matuidi for Juventus, Corentin Toliso for uh, Bayern Munich, N'Golo Kante for Chelsea, and then Steve Zonzi for Sevilla. Those are the midfield generals that will be in action for the French team. The forwards, Kylian Mbappe, Oliver Giroud, Antoine Griezmann, uh, Osman Dembele, Florian Thovin, uh, Thomas Lemar, and Nabil Fekir. Those are the people that will be in action for the French team that was named by Didier Dejams uh, for the 2018 uh, edition of the FIFA World Cup. Remember, it will be the 21st edition of the FIFA World Cup. The first uh, final was played back in 1930. Those are the... Um, some of the squads that have been selected by some of the teams that will be the teams that will be taking part in uh, the World Cup. So let's move away from the teams that.